On County Schools, Superintendent Rocky Hanna has responded to the Florida Department of Education's allegations against him. FDOE gave Hanna four options to be able to appeal those allegations. Yeah, some of those include the district's mask mandate in 2021 and email suggesting that staff ignored state curriculum standards. With these allegations, Hanna could face penalties ranging from probation to suspension. ABC 27's Gabriela Mercurio tells us what Hanna has decided and who is supporting him going forward. Even though this entire process has been difficult for Hannah, he says the community support that he's gotten is helping him be optimistic with his decision going forward. The Florida Department of Education Commissioner Manny Diaz told Superintendent Rocky Hanna in a letter that there was probable cause to justify sanctions against his state educator certificate due to a history of defying the law. Some of those allegations include claims that Hanna tried to use his position to politically influence others under his authority, the district's mask mandate, which went against the governor's executive orders in 2021, and emails suggesting that staff ignored state curriculum standards. Hanna was given four options to appeal the allegations against him. A formal hearing denying some or all allegations and having a full administrative hearing, an informal hearing not disputing allegations but telling a panel why a lenient or no penalty is appropriate, a settlement neither admitting or denying the allegations but accepting conditions to resolve the case, or surrender his certificate that cannot be reinstated or reapplied for a new one. However, in a Facebook post on Sunday, Hannah says he's not choosing any of his options. Instead, he's asking FDOE Commissioner Diaz what option he thinks would resolve the matter. The post reading, quote, I remain optimistic that the commissioner and the decision makers in the Department of Education will realize I have not done the things they have accused me of. I absolutely have no history of defying the law, nor have I ever suggested to anyone to violate the law or not teach the Florida standards as established by the Board of Education. Hannah also said that the community's support has given him a renewed sense of strength throughout this process. Melinda Stanwood is one of those community members standing behind Hannah. She was a part of giving over 300 letters of encouragement and support to Hannah at the last school board meeting. She wanted to speak out, show their support, and, and, you know, and say, we stand behind you, and, and you know, we believe that the democracy works, and, and we want to be here um, for that. Although Stanwood believes the process has been unfair to Hannah, she's hoping the board will make the right decision going forward. And so we're hoping for the best and we're hoping that um, that the people will be able to, um, people in authority will be able to act um, in fairness and good faith. So Gabriella, now that Hannah has sent his response, what's next in the process? Well, I reached out to Commissioner Diaz for his response back to Hannah and when he thinks the board will make their decision, but I haven't heard back from them yet. But until that decision is made, Stanwood says they'll continue to show up to school board meetings to support Hannah. Live in Tallahassee, Gabriela Mercurio, ABC 27.